Agreed. Brooke, I expected a number of these Seminole District teams we were talking about to be contenders and show out early. I got to be honest. Coach Weaver's Titans, now I think the secret is officially out. Yeah, they are crazy good okay. in the air, through the air, and tonight was no different, honestly, except a little better defense compared to last week. Okay. Abby, you mentioned this before I left today. Franklin County's clock control is legit, and that's due in part to their ground game. We heard a lot of this guy, Jalen Lee, over the PA tonight, including this touchdown. We stayed at 7-7 for a while. The pass is finally completing for Sam Dragovich at the right time. This one at the start of the fourth quarter to take the lead. Nice but, Abby, you know one man's trash is another man's treasure, right? Well, that, I was, gotcha. that was basically the last five minutes of this game. When a mistake was made on one side, the other capitalized. That was a score by the Eagles to tie it up. Okay. Then they score 45 seconds later on a Titan turnover. Then Hidden Valley's Max Parton gets the interception there, takes it back for the touchdown. Dragovich goes for two, connects with Braxton Dunnings. And just when you think it's not over, there was also a blocked kick by the Eagles. Kept you on your toes. To get the ball back. Yeah. You're telling me I had put the camera down. I said five minutes left. I'm done. Uh -uh. But the Titans prevailed. Hidden Valley wins it 28-21. An outstanding job. Uh, it, got, it got really weird at the end of the game, and I'm still not really sure of everything that happened. But our kids really responded, and Franklin County is, is such a big school and they're so well coached. And this is just an outstanding win for our community. Coach told me that the last time the Titans had started 5-0, and it was when Coach Edwards was in charge over there. Weaver was on staff, and he said it's always an honor to play Franklin County and, of course, get the win.